Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Danielle and in this video we're talking all about the Grow With Joe challenge and my experience with it and in the end how it kind of affected my whole fitness journey and my approach to getting the weight off and all the things. So when I started the challenge initially my goal was to do seven days of the 5,000 mile, 5,000 step walking workout and that was kind of the goal that I set for myself. I knew that that was what I wanted to do because on that thumbnail of that video, it says biggest day, you can burn 800 calories doing this workout. So I was like, yes, that's the workout for me. That's the one I need to be doing. And that was the goal that I set for myself. So seven days straight of that walking workout so I could be burning 800 calories a day. Now, so I went ahead, I created an intro for the video. I was like, I'm doing this. I did my before photos. Hey y'all, welcome back to another Fat to Fit video. This series is all about finding healthy and sustainable ways to improve our health and get the weight off. In this one, we're going to be doing a full week of Grow With Joe workouts. I'm gonna be doing the five mile walk and we're gonna see the results of that workout throughout the course of a week. So right now we're gonna do like some progress pictures so we have a starting point. We're gonna get our baseline with some before footage. my starting weight and in the beginning before I started my weight was kind of fluctuating between 247 and 248 so I just took 248 as my starting starting weight and then I started doing the workout so right away I realized that this was a very challenging workout it was definitely something that I did not enjoy doing and I was having to force myself to continue to do this workout every day and I got to about day three before I started skipping days. I was dreading doing the workouts and it ended up taking me about two weeks to complete the seven day challenge and I don't even think I finished day seven. And what I found was that I wasn't working out at all because I had set this unrealistic expectation for myself to complete seven days of this workout and until I finished that seven days, I wasn't doing anything else. So rather than just doing a workout that I liked, instead of doing the workout that I said I would do, I just was doing nothing, nothing at all because I didn't want to not reach my goal. So I basically, I set a stupid, a really unrealistic goal for myself and then I forced myself to stick with that goal and ended up hurting myself in the long run because I could have been doing workouts I enjoyed. But rather than doing that, I just chose to do nothing because I couldn't do or didn't want to do what I said I would do. So I definitely shot myself in the foot <laughs> in that aspect because I could have been just modifying it from there. And once I realized that I didn't like it and I wasn't enjoying it, I could have made modifications to it. But I was like, you know what? I'm filming a video. I want to complete it. I want to be able to show my before and afters and I want, you know, really good results to show people. But that's not the way the world works. <laughs> and that's not the way in my opinion, that fitness journeys should work because when you realize that you really hate something, you cannot force yourself to do it. You have to find things that you actually enjoy doing or that you just don't hate. Like you don't have to like or love every single part of your fitness journey, but you do kind of have to have, be motivated in some way to do things. Um, does that mean you're going to be super motivated every single day? Of course not, but you have to like something about it. You have to like the results. You have to like something and in this case it was more of a cardio workout it wasn't strength training there were no weights involved there were some body weight exercises definitely but there were there was no strength training so it wasn't like um i couldn't get those same workouts or those same movements from a different workout i don't know why i was so like pressed to force myself to do this particular workout and it had to be this exact thing or it was just i wasn't doing it right and it felt like failure because I didn't want to do it. But at the same time, if I had done something else, I could have got the same results. It was a mess. So I was like, you know what? I just stopped. I reassessed. And then I was like, okay, so what can I do instead? How can I turn this around and still make it successful for me? Because my entire fitness journey is all about me finding healthy and sustainable ways to lose weight or get the weight off and participate in a fitness journey but for me that doing it that way and being so like rigid about it was not healthy for me and it was not sustainable for me because obviously I wasn't doing it <laughs> so if this if you can't be consistent then it's obviously not sustainable and sustainability is definitely like 
top of my list when it comes to my criteria for the things that I choose for myself during my fitness journey. So it was not healthy for me. It was not sustainable for me. And therefore, it went against my entire everything I believe in when it comes to how I want to govern my fitness journey. So like I said, I reassessed. I was like, okay, what can I do? How can I turn this around? I decided that I would retry the challenge, but make it my own. So for me, what that meant was I was still going to do grow with your workouts, but rather than having forcing myself to do seven days straight of workouts, I was going to commit to four to five days for a week of workouts. And then I also wasn't going to force myself anymore to do that particular workout i gave myself free reign to kind of do whatever workout i wanted to do so i just chose a workout from her channel every single day and i also incorporated strength training so if i did a cardio workout from her channel one day i would i would pair that with a strength training workout from a different trainer or if i did a strength training workout from her channel that day i would pair it with a cardio workout from another trainer that day so i'm gonna do this 30 minute hip-hop cardio dance workout the one in the middle and then I'm gonna do a grow with Joe arm workout and that ended up working out really well for me I had much more fun and I enjoyed it a whole lot more I was able to stick with it I didn't have any issues at all so I think sometimes it really is just about modifying things and making it work for you because if you can't do a challenge or if you're having to force yourself to do it or if you're just completely hating it then it's not for you <laughs> It's not for you. And that's what I had to realize. So I was definitely successful when I reassessed the situation and when I did it my own way and kind of made over the challenge to work for me. When I removed all of the restrictions and limits from my from the challenge and kind of gave myself more ability to freestyle with it. And honestly, having that like fluidity and less strictness in my routine took a lot of the weight off my shoulders because there wasn't this expectation to do this exact thing this exact way and if I did it it was right and if I didn't then I was wrong so I definitely did myself a favor by making over this challenge and I'm not saying that that's what the girl with Joe challenge is because I definitely did this to myself like I created this challenge for myself I don't know what other people are doing as far as their girl with Joe challenge experience I think everyone's kind of doing their own thing but for me I was like okay I'm going to do this particular workout seven days in a row and that's going to be my version of the challenge but what I realized in the end was that that wasn't the best way or the best approach for me to be doing it. So I just made it over and did it in a way that worked for me. So what was the end result? I ended up losing a total of three pounds within that three, three and a half week time period. Because remember, it took me like two weeks to get through the first seven workouts. <laughs> and I don't even think I finished workout seven. And I also lost an additional inch off of my waist. I lost the first inch just through my normal fitness routine um, and I'm documenting all of my ups and downs with my fitness journey. I have a whole separate series called Fat to Fit so you guys can check that out if you're interested in learning more about my fitness journey. So yeah three pounds an inch off my waist. I think I lost some inches somewhere else. I put it in a different video. I just don't have the, the numbers in front of me right now to tell you guys. Check out my Fat to Fit series if you want all of the details on measurements and updates with that kind of stuff and weight updates. I've decided to do weigh-ins only once a month at this point and measurements every two weeks. So if you guys want updates on that, like I said, check out Fat to Fit. And what I really ended up getting from this challenge was clarity about my fitness journey. I realized that there's no challenge that's going to give you results that are more amazing than just eating nutrient-dense foods and remaining in a caloric deficit and moving your body. If you choose to incorporate more strength training and protein into your diet, then you'll probably be able to build muscle faster and slim down. But overall, there's no shortcut to it. You kind of have to just show up and do the work and be consistent. And I think it's just so important to know that you don't have to work out seven days a week. I don't have to work out seven days a week to see results or to see progress. I don't have to take everything to the extreme. <laughs> like to me, we're have, doing a seven day challenge where you have to do an hour and 20 minute workout is definitely extreme for seven days a week when you were used to being sedentary before that. For me in particular, I definitely had just started like a month before. So that was extreme. That was kind of 
doing them as it was doing a lot it was doing the most so that is my take on the grow with joe challenge i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you want to see more challenge makeovers then leave a comment below and let me know which challenge you guys want me to participate in and remember that any health and fitness related decisions that you make on your journey should be healthy and sustainable for you and that means it doesn't matter what anybody else is doing if you can't stick with it then it's not healthy and sustainable for you. And that to me has been key in actually seeing results this time because that's the filter that I run all my decisions through now, which is why I don't eliminate food groups which anymore, which is why I'm not um, making myself be in a super, on a super low calorie diet. I'm not saying I'm not eating sugar. I'm not labeling foods as good or bad. I'm just kind of doing everything in moderation. I'm trying, I'm focusing on remaining in a calorie deficit and I'm working out. And that's really it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.